Next up, we've got Cynthia Arutza, who's the co-author of uh, Feminism for the 99%, uh, a manifesto and a socialist feminist activist in New York. So I'm here in New York, um, but I'm going to report a bit about uh, Italy uh, that I'm uh, following closely, but from afar. Uh, because I think um, the Italian situation may be more interesting in terms of uh, because in Italy somehow two or three weeks in advance with, with, uh, uh, in comparison with other countries. So it, it may be interesting for you uh, to get an idea of the dynamic. Uh, basically to keep things short. Um, so Italy, uh, the Italian government didn't take immediately measures to suppress the virus in the way in which China and South Korea did. Uh, and actually, they did waste uh, a number of days uh, that were quite precious uh, to stop the contagion in, uh, uh, in the northern uh, Italy, especially Lombardy, which is a very high density uh, area. Um, when uh, they were finally forced to uh, call for a lockdown, first of Lombardy and then two days later, basically the whole Italy, what was not clear to, um, to people outside Italy is that uh, uh, the lockdown was not stopping production. Uh, so in other words, all production was basically going on. Uh, what the lockdown stopped were uh, um, you know, shops, um, um, public employ employment, for example, schools uh, and uh, public offices and so on, but all industrial production was going on. So the, the first reaction against, uh, uh, against this w uh, came uh, through first uh, some uh, uh, spontaneous wildcat strikes organized by uh, fiat workers in a couple of plants, especially, especially in the south, where basically workers uh, uh, said that they were not uh, willing to go to work because there were no precautions. Uh, there were no uh, measures in place to, uh, to make sure that uh, contagion would not spread in the, in the plants. Um, and then uh, uh, legal organized uh, strikes, uh, always uh, a fiat um, organized by the union. Um, so this probably did have an influence on the decision, although, I mean, it's not the only element for sure, on the, de on the decision by Fiat Chrysler to actually shut down all plants. Um, but these were the only plants that were actually closed uh, in Italy. Uh, so there given that the pace of contagion in Lombardy was uh, still growing, or, and then uh, in spite of the lockdown, not slowing down uh, uh, fast enough, um, the discussion finally emerged about the fact that there was no block uh, of uh, essential production. So until that point, the government had uh, emphasized especially individual behavior. So basically shifting the blame for the pace of contagion on individual behaviors of people who were supposed to stay at home and would instead go and jog in the park and so on. While at the same time hiding or not addressing the, the fact that thousands and thousands of workers were still taking public transportation uh, in Lombardy especially to go to, the, to their factories because the factories were not shut down. Um, so uh, following uh, pressures, uh, both uh, uh, spontaneous pressures from rank and file workers and the threat um, by the main unions to call for a strike, the government uh, uh, issued a first uh, uh, stop of, of non-essential production on uh, Monday. Uh, this stop uh, on non-essential production was a mockery uh, in the sense that basically all production was still going on, like for example wallpaper production or uh, weapons. Um, so this triggered basically a wave of strikes um, the, uh, on yesterday, uh, organized by the main unions in Lombardy. Uh, so all industrial sector basically went on strike and also general strike organized by the radical union USB. And this uh, basically did have an effect in the sense that it, it forced the government to revise the first order uh, and indeed to exclude a, a much greater range of uh, um, of production uh, from the list of uh, essential or strategic production. So from this viewpoint, the strike did work, although it is, not, it is still not enough. Uh, but what is clear, and I, and I conclude here, um, what is clear is that uh, nothing of this would have happened without the pressure from uh, workers. So without both uh, wildcat strikes, uh, calling uh, sick, uh, all possible forms of spontaneous refusal of work, and also the finally in the last, especially in the last days, uh, the pressures coming and the strikes were organized by the, uh, by the unions.